In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do bond pricing in Excel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some basic uh, financial functions which are going to allow you to determine the maturity of a bond, its coupon rate, coupon payment, par value, yield to maturity, and its present value. The functions that I'm going to use are the in per number of periods, the PMT for payment, FV for future value, rate to get the yield to maturity, and PV for present value. Now one thing I'm going to note here, first of all, we're doing a bond and everything is considered to be annual. So one payment per year and then we have 10 years. Now I put maturity here for years but really it should just be the periods or you know how many periods you have left for the life of the bond and uh, since it's annual I'm just going to assume we have 10 years or 10 periods the coupon rate of 10 percent for a hundred dollar coupon payment per year which is 10 percent of the par value or the future value of a thousand dollars and a yield to maturity of eight percent the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to get the present value of this now note if it was not annually, say it was semi-annual, I would have to change the maturity from 10 periods or 10 years to 20 periods for 10 years because that means that there are going to be two periods every year where you get paid. And if you do that, you have to divide the coupon rate by two and then divide the coupon payment by two and uh, then the yield to maturity you're going to want to also divide that by two and uh, then you're going to get your answer for the present value so just note that uh, this is annual and if you make it any other periods you do have to adjust yield to maturity coupon rate coupon payment and the number of periods so to do the present value it simply equals PV open parentheses and then we need the rate the number of periods the payment, the future value, and the type. The rate is simply the year to yield to maturity rate. Do not mix this up with the coupon rate. So we have 8% comma number of periods 10 comma the payment which is 100. So note that you don't actually use the coupon rate, you use the coupon rate to get the payments. So 10% of a thousand is 100 which is this coupon payment. The next thing is the future value or the par value so a thousand and the last thing is the type. If you leave type blank it's going to automatically default to assuming that the payments are due at the end of the period. Otherwise you have two options you can put a zero or you can put a one in here. Zero is the same as if you put nothing in here. It means that your payments are due at the end of the period. And if you put a one in here, it means that you get the payments at the beginning of the period. And so it's going to uh, change the value. So we want to assume ours are our standard default. You get it at the end of the period. So close parentheses and hit enter. And then that gives you the present value. Now note that the present value here is red with brackets around it. So that means that the number is negative. And that's really just a function of how the present value calculation works. One of these numbers has to be negative. So the present value is going to be negative. It just works out that way. But what this means is that the present value for the bond is actually $1,134.20. So if you want to you know take that out of there I'm just gonna give you an example so let's make it so it's not negative just equals that cell times negative one enter and then in this cell you have a positive value but as you'll see in a minute you need the present value number to stay negative to get the correct results for other calculations so that's how you can get the present value when you have all of these you know when you have the rest of the equation for the bonds so now let's go ahead and figure out how to get the rest of it so if you have everything 
if you have everything but the let's start out with maturity or the number of periods so you don't know how many periods are left in the life of the bond you can get that pretty easily and obviously in the real world this information is going to be pretty readily available but you know if you're taking a test or you need to know how to do it for Excel this is how you do it so equals n p e r for number of periods open parentheses now it's going to want the rate and for the rate remember the yield to maturity rate comma it's going to want the payment the coupon payment comma now it wants the present value so let's see what happens if I put the positive present value in and the next thing is the future value or the par value and lastly the type I'm going to put zero let's close the parentheses and hit enter so here it says the maturity or the number of periods negative 29 so obviously that makes no sense so let's go ahead and change the present value from its positive version to the negative number and now you'll see why you need the present value to be negative in these calculations so hit enter and gives you 10 so 10 periods left or 10 years since it's annual now I'm gonna skip the coupon rate for now and go ahead and get the coupon payment that's very easy equals PMT open parentheses the rate yield to maturity number of periods 10 present value future value and type as zero enter and it's a hundred dollars so to get the par value equals FV open parentheses the rate yield to maturity number of periods 10 the payment 100 the present value negative and the type 0 enter and it gives us a thousand dollars so the next thing we're going to get is the rate or the yield to maturity so this is the rate that we would get if we held the bond to maturity collected all payments and you get that by equals rate open parentheses number of periods payment present value future value type which is zero and next you can put in a guess and the guess is what you think it's going to be but whatever you put in here doesn't really matter for our purposes right now so I could put in say 35 doesn't matter or I could put in nothing at all close parentheses enter and it returns 8 percent now I put a number in for guess if I leave it out so it's only number of periods payment present value future value and type leave guess out hit enter returns the same thing so pretty much for now don't worry about the guess and lastly if you want to get the coupon rate you have to have the coupon payment and the par value first simply equals the payment divided by the par value enter but in order to get the payment in the first place you have to know the rate um, so yeah if the payments given to you though that's how you can find out the coupon rate so that's how you can use these functions and features of Excel to do uh, to figure out information about a bond. Now this was a very simple example of you know a very simple way of getting the prices for a bond. Um, and as you can see here, the bond is selling at a premium because the coupon rate is so high. But once you have it set up, it's kind of neat because you can adjust everything quickly. So if I do eight percent here, then it's going to update down here. You see thousand dollars if I change it again to six percent it's going to be selling at a discount and so that's how you can do that and if you want to get this spreadsheet to follow along or just to you know have all of these functions right in front of you you can just get them from teachexcel.com and navigate to the tutorial